Hi, Flosstube. Hello, Flosstube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep Stitching, episode 339. Four plus five plus ten plus ten plus ten plus one hundred and fifty plus fifty plus fifty plus twenty five plus twenty plus five is three hundred thirty nine because math. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, people. Hope you're doing well. Yep. And hope you've had a great Stitchy Week. Yeah. Uh, we are a YouTube channel about cross stitch. And that we are. We live in Southwest Ohio. Yep. And we are mother and daughter. Since and I met Tay. We, uh, are we just love cross stitch so much. And we love you so much. <laughs> and we usually record once a week. Yes. There's no usually about it. So we if, don't ever do more than one week. Just so you so if don't you are excited. new here, welcome. If you are one of our... Uh, tried and true. Tried and true. <laughs> welcome back. Yes. Um, we want to start off this episode with an itsy-beansy beansy little uh, info minute on <sighs> StitchCon. Yeah. So the uh, first Spirit Wear sale is currently going on. It ends... Um, Monday, April 15th, so, uh, which is tomorrow, so if you're watching this on Sunday night, uh, I do believe it's like through the day Monday, but do not come for me if I'm incorrect about that. Um, but if you're watching this Sunday night, then, and you want to get some StitchCon spirit wear, uh, the link is on the StitchCon website or in the StitchCon Facebook group. Reminder, the Facebook group is for paid attendees of StitchCon 2024. Yeah. So there's that information. And then also, um, I wanted to mention that, um, and I touched on this a little bit last week, but, um, the list of attending floss tubers for 2024's stitch con is now the list is on the stitch con website. Um, each of the channels that are listed is a clickable link so that that will take you directly to their homepage uh, on YouTube so that's great um, and then um, I have also put up a like uploaded a PDF list uh, I know that some people including us like to print that list off and sort of like you know go through and, and see which ones we know of and which ones we don't know of and give them a watch if we don't know who they are. Yeah. Um, obviously it's different for us because we're going to both weekends. So, um, it's nice to just like put faces to names and stuff like that. So, yeah. um, sure. and so my caveat to that is that if you are a floss tuber and you are attending StitchCon, reminder, when I, when we say a floss tuber, we are referring to someone who makes and uploads videos. So, if you're just a floss tube enjoyer, a floss tube watcher, viewer, um, but you do not make videos, then your name does not need to be on the list. So, um, so um, if you go look at the list on the website or on the Facebook page and your name is not on the list and we have missed that somehow, uh, then just let us know. You can send an email to the StitchCon email or shoot us a message on any of our social media pages um, and just let us know and we'll get you added. Um, right now, since we're still in April, I'm going to refresh that PDF um, every two weeks or so. Um, so if you've reached out since I uploaded the first PDF, and you're like, why hasn't she added my name yet? That's why. It's a lot. I'd be spinning my wheels constantly. You know what I mean? Plus, we're still sending out invoices. And so, as people pay or what have you, and yeah. they're flat. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. So, um, and on the flip side of that coin, if you are someone who is on that list and would not like to be on that list, yeah. whether you're no longer making videos or yeah. you just don't want to be on that list for whatever reason, um, just... Again, let us know, and we won't be happy to remove you. So, um, no explanation needed. So, yeah. um, so I think that that is well. Then also in regards to the spirit wear, there will be a second StitchCon spirit wear sale in about another week and a half to two weeks. We'll keep you apprised here when that will be. But also, um, you know, watch the website, watch the um, keeps uh, the StitchCon Facebook page too, uh, and then there will be a third. Spirit Wear sale as well. Um, that will be at the beginning of May. Um, the first two sales, the April Spirit Wear sales, the items will be mailed directly to you. Uh, and then the final sale, they will come to us. You do not have to be a paid attendee of StitchCon 2024 
to purchase spearware. Right. If you just want to feel like you're there vicariously and get yourself a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip up hoodie, you know, yeah, more power people to have you. done that. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. so, okay, so that is all of the StitchCon keepsakes news that I have right now. Wonderful. All right, let's do a hashtag. But so uh, our hashtag here at Just Keep Stitching is hashtag Stitch Harmony. It is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So if you are someone who does not have a stitching friend and you have tried your darndest to find a friend that lives local to you and you have come up short, then uh, you are more than welcome to utilize us and our audience to see if we can find someone who lives in your area that likes to stitch and you guys can sit together. Absolutely. So who is this week's? So if you comment on the video, tell us your name, where you live, use the hashtag Stitch Harmony. We pick one of those comments every week. Right. So who is this week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter, <clears throat> Pamela? This week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter is a lovely gal named Erin. Hi, Erin. Hello, Erin. And is that A A R N? It is A A R O N E R I N. Thank you so much. Erin. And this is what she wrote Hashtag Stitch Harmony. My name is Erin, and I am located in Columbus, Georgia. Love that. I am a mother to a bunch of little kids, and I'm looking for a stitchy friend in my area. I okay. enjoy quilting and cross stitch, as well as gardening and crossfit. Wow, you're hoping, a busy girl. She's got a lot going on. Yes. Hoping to get connected to someone who shares my love of needlework and creativity. What? This community is such a delight. It Thanks is. for all you do for this community. Heart, Erin. Love it. Can we tell everyone what her YouTube name is, please? Yes. Her YouTube name is Stitching with Bears. I love that for us. Something tells me the bears are the kids. Oh, well, there you go. There, That's very... That Aaron? Maybe? Maybe? Don't know. We'll find out. Uh, I can't wait. Okay. Um, Columbus, Georgia. Columbus, Georgia. Let's see where Columbus, Georgia is. Columbus. I do know that there are, like, no needle workshops in Georgia, um, like, that I know of. Really? Yeah, it's a desert there. Oh, that's mm. pretty. Okay, so Columbus, Georgia. Is that a zoo? What is that? I don't know. Wild Animal Safari in Pine Mountain, Georgia. Okay. Oh, and it's very close to the Jimmy Carter National Historic Park, Pam. Well. Okay, so it looks like it's a little southwest of Atlanta. Okay. Oh, you're basically right on the border of Alabama and Georgia. Mm. I have heard of Columbus, Georgia before, and I never knew where it was. Okay, so this is the great state of Georgia. See this here? That is Atlanta. See this little red box right there? That is Columbus, Georgia. So um, it looks like the western edge of Columbus, Georgia, is the border between Georgia and Alabama. So... Uh, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, and it looks like Interstate I-85 runs straight through it. So that's cool. The National Infantry Museum is in southern Columbus, Georgia. Um, the Chattahoochee River is very close. Way down under on the Chattahoochee. That's right. I love that song. Never knew that that's where it stemmed from. So. Used to be a big Alan Jackson I am still a big Alan Jackson fan. Thank you so much. That was the... Was, that was the first CD that I ever purchased mm -hmm. when I was a tween. She was in her country phase. I was. That whole, like, 90s country. Mm. Mm, give it to me. Um, so, anyway. So, if your ears perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of Columbus, Georgia, and you have room in your city group for sweet Erin and her bears, then please comment below on this video and say, Hi, Erin. My name is... I live in around nearby within driving distance of Columbus, Georgia, and I would love to sit with you. And then it is up to you, Miss Erin, to read through the comments and see if anyone has reached out to you. Despite the fact that there are none, no needle workshops in the state of Georgia, I do know that there are many a stitcher in Georgia. Yes. So um, I am hopeful and confident that you will find a friend. Okay. All right. So wow. Well, Columbus, Georgia, Georgia stitchers, stitchers unite. unite. There you go. Love that for you. All right. Take it. Okay. 
That means it's time for Pam's pinned comment. And yeah, that does. is my favorite comment after last week's video. Yep. And if you watched last week's video, <coughs> I was describing Pam's pinned comment. She was. And the fact that it warmed the cockles of my heart. And well, I of course, said, we got all kinds of <laughs> reactions to that. Because I made some or pretty funny Stephanie's comments. comments after I said that. My favorite one was my first comment. Which was, we love a cockle warmed. Oh, like, yeah. Who says that? Yeah. Me. So, anyway. Anyway. Our dear friend, Desiree Feister. Hi, Desiree. You got pinned, my friend. Yeah, you did. And you've this is what pinned. she wrote. We sh you should make t-shirts for people that have their comment pins that said you've been pinned. Oh, that's an idea. And mail them to them. Hmm, <laughs> file that away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Desiree said, so cockles are actually the ventricles of your heart. I've never heard any, like, I've watched many a medical drama, and I've never heard anyone say, oh, we've got well, a clogged cockle. <laughs> stop with it. Stop, stop, That's stop. the name of it, though. I'm okay, so she said. I mean appropriately <laughs> inappropriate. Desiree says, didn't, you, didn't know you were in the medical field, did you, Pam? Dr. Pam. Just thought you should know. Having spent over 30 years in the medical field, I often quietly giggle at people who have the cockles of their heart warm. You both certainly warm mine every Listen, week. Listen, if your cockles are cold, come here. <laughs> I think we've played that out, don't you think? I think we've like, we've had it. Yeah, have you? Yeah. It's, no. you but never know. thank you, Desiree. For, um, Winter will come again, and the cockles we, will we be We always cold. love non-stitching related information we and do. knowledge. Yes, I this feel is so the much place to now. come for that. Absolutely. I'm gonna ask Sarah if she's ever encountered a cold oh, yeah. cockle. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! Boy, am I sorry I said that. Said that she's word. never gonna describe a pinned comment in that way ever again. <laughs> it might um, make my day. It might. Um, Make me giggle, but never again. Will it warm a cockle? <laughs> <laughs> I can keep going, Pam. Don't you? Don't. Oh, I know you can. You know, they know. Everyone knows I can keep going. Yep. Anyway. Are you ready? Moving on. Please. <laughs> that means it's time for silver and gold. Yeah, it does. And I had another piece of paper here. Uh, this paper? Yeah. Oh, I thought that that had to do with what's in the box. It sort of does. Let's leave it for that. Thank you. Okay. okay. Anyway, um, that means it's time for our floss tube shout out section. Yes. Uh, based on the old Girl Scout song, make new friends and keep the old. Yep. One is silver, one is gold. Yep. So we have two gems and I think what we're doing between now and StitchCon is we are shouting out a silver and a gold floss tuber both of whom are attending StitchCon this year. So yeah. from now until June weekend A, mm -hmm. um, that's what you're going to get. Yep, it is. So um, our first, and you know what? What? Both of these floss tubers Ooh. are in the Sunshine State, the great state of Florida. Love that. So we want to make sure that you go check out Jody. Yes. At Simply Stitching Ocala. Ocala, Is it Ocala or Ocala, Ocala? Ocala, not sure. Hold on. Linda, Jody, all anybody, you, all you people who live in Ocala, Florida, I think it's Ocala. We're gonna get a pronunciation here. Ocala. Ocala. Okay. Ocala. There you go. That's what I thought it was. Typically. Okay. Well, Jody has been to StitchCon before. She came last year. She had a blast. Yes. Um, and um, she's coming back. So that's a good sign. Love that press. Jody has been um, making videos since January of 23. So a little over a year. Yep. Which makes her a silver. Yes. And she's made 19 videos. Jody also quilts. Yep. And um, I'm telling you what, Jody loves to go to retreats. Uh, if you've been to any of the uh, retreats, uh, well, primarily in, in the Florida. southeast uh, United States, you've probably seen, yep. met, and talked to Jody. She's fantastic. Uh, she's, she also has very great hair. Yes, she's she's got good hair. I love her. And um, she's very sociable and just um, loves 
I think the last one she went to, correct us if we're wrong, Jody. I think she just went to the beach, please. Yeah, I think so. Stacy's retreat. That would make sense. So um, she loves going to retreats. She does yeah. great retreat recap videos. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you want to get a feel for, you know, different retreats, and we Jody do have, is your girl. We do have like a StitchCon recap playlist on yeah. our channel, and mm -hmm. Jody's recap is on there, so you can check that out too. Yeah. So uh, simply stitching Ocala. Her name is Jody. And her name is Jody. Um, for gold, we also go down to Florida. Yep. Um, and I'm going to ask for some clarification, correction, if I don't have this exactly right. Okay. Can't but wait. I'm talking about Christy and her floss tube channel is on Pine Barren. B A R R O N. Oh, you have E N written. It's Ian, sorry. Okay. It's Ian. No, it's fine. And um, when Christy first started making videos, mm -hmm. she was in the Florida Panhandle. Okay. And then they bought a farm, and I'm not sure if Where the she's farm is also in, still in the Panhandle. But Florida nonetheless. I can find out for you pretty quickly. And, yeah. Um, do you want me to find out where in Florida she is? Because I can do it in two seconds. Sure. Okay. Hold please. Okay, so I went to look it up, um, and she lives in Century, Florida, which is in the Panhandle, basically as far west, not as far west you, as you can go, but very far west on the Panhandle, Florida, and it touches, guess what, the border to Alabama. There you go. So, everything's bordering Alabama these days. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Christy has been doing videos since January 2018. Yeah. So um, she's uh, very well versed in uh, making very good and mm. uh, I think a lot of instructional cool. videos. Um, and uh, she has a variety of projects, as does Jody, by the way. I yes. didn't mention that. Um, Christy is a big Disney uh, person, so yeah. I think they make a trip every year. Cool. Uh, to go down I'm to Florida, might as well. Yeah, to go down to uh, uh, Disney. Disney. Great. So anyway, uh, two Florida gals who are doing a great job with their channels, and we want you to make sure and go check them out. See yes. if they offer you something you're interested in. And uh, Christy also was at StitchCon last year and is yep. also coming back. Yes, we love that. So we have a great contingent of Florida folks, and yep. uh, we love it. So I want to say that, like, Florida is in the top, like, five states for number of attendees that come to StitchCon. I think it is right up there. Yeah. There's yep. a big Which group cool. that comes yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to both weekends. Pam does this, like, roll call situation at the beginning it's of each so weekend. Fun. It's super fun. Yeah. And so we have everyone from each state stand up. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, we, sh we go in, um, in, do you go in alphabetical order? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you went in alphabetical or if you did went in size order. No, no, no. No, it's no, alphabetical. No. Okay. Yeah. But Florida always sends a great group. So, yeah, great contingent. Um, good job, Florida. Good job. Keep it up. Represent. All right. Let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. All right. Okay. What have you been stitching on? Staff. All right. Well, um, I have been um, going, I mean, I don't know about gangbusters is the word, but... Um, I got a lot of stitching time in yesterday. Um, yesterday evening, we watched Scoop on Netflix, which is a fantastic movie. It's new to Netflix. Very, very good. If you like um, historical dramas. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. And then, um, so because of that, I got a lot of good stitching time in. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my first WIPCO project for the month of April uh, was is a chart from Artful Offerings called Red Fox Vineyard. That is what he will look like when he is done. And so um, last week I had all of like the red part of his top right here done. And did I have any of this stuff done over here last week? I don't, I don't, don't think so. remember. <laughs> I don't remember either. But um, I know I had some border done last week too. Yeah. So um, I'm stitching mine on a, I don't know the name of the color and I apologize for that, but it is a 40 count linen from Fiber on a Whim. And um, I'm using all of the called for threads, which are all weeks dye works. So, um, and I'm not taking out the Q-snap, but this is what I have. 
So, um, I like went up over, so I finished, so I don't know if you can really see, I'm sure I can make you see, see this portion of the fox here is like checkerboard. And so then I got the orange and red part of him done. And then I knew that this was the only part over here that the green and purple were in. And so I said, well, let me just go over and get that done. And then I could put those colors away. So that's what I did. So I finished all of the grapes and then, um, and then you, know, I decided to go back to working on his chest. So I got the bow tie in and, um, there's just a little bit more white that goes here. Um, and then his like front leg, cause he's like looking behind himself. Right. So, um, so as you can see, it gets more narrow as I go down. So I should be able to finish that tonight and put in his little buttons of his tuxedo. And, um, yeah. Yeah. So I love it. Mm -hmm. Um, that's gorgeous. So I decided to split because both WIPCO projects, and I've mentioned this before, so sorry if I'm repeating myself, but <laughs> both WIPCO polls for the month of April are both projects that when I pulled them out of my whip bucket, they each had exactly one thread in them. I, that's all I had done. They were at the same point. Um, and so it wasn't like, oh, this, let me start with this one because I can finish it. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I just pulled them out to make some progress you know, yeah make some legitimate them. progress on mm -hmm. them yeah for sure tangible progress some tangible progress yes 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 which is our favorite phrase so um so i pulled this guy out and um so i decided i was going to work on him for the first 15 days of april are there 30 yeah there's 30 days mm -hmm. in april yeah so i'm gonna do 15 days which if you know the date then this is my last day on him. So my goal is to finish his chest. There's like a line of like cream color that goes along that. And then um, there is, see this like little portion right here. I'm going to see if I can get that done. Um, just so I know where I'm at. Because I don't want to, I really don't want to start all of this now. Because then I'm just going to put it away. So um, and I did make thank you for people who left comments and suggestions about what to put here. Um, and someone suggested, I'm so sorry that I don't remember your name, um, but someone suggested that I put, is it Aesop? Mm -hmm. Put Aesop as in Aesop's Fables. Mm -hmm. Um, and I love that idea. So, um, that is what we I love a literary we reference. We do here, you know. A couple of English majors. Exactly. Little book nerds. Yeah. So, um. That is what I'm going to put here. Obviously, it's not the same amount of letters, which is whatever. Um, but I think this font down here is basic enough that I can um, just create the other letters out of what is here already. Yeah. So um, so that's what I'll do when mm -hmm. I get to that point. I'm obviously a ways away from doing that. But um, but thank you all for your suggestions and mm -hmm. input. I They're appreciate it so much. Yeah. So, yes. So I love this chart so much. I was just telling Pam last night that... Um, I, I've seen, I've personally have a few artful offering whips and I've seen a lot of people stitch a lot of different artful offerings things, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone stitch this one. Yeah. So, um, that's always that. fun. Yeah. In my really cute Fox project bag. So, right. um, and yeah, cause I have the one where the animals are wearing pajamas. Mm -hmm. Does she always have clothes on the Animals? I don't know. I have a couple in my are you do, pile. Are you doing a bird one, aren't you? Yes. And then there's that one with the bunnies where the patriotic yes. the, holding the pinwheels. Holy hell, yeah, that's, that's so cute. adorable. Yes, it very much is. So I'm having cute. a lot of fun stitching that. Um, one thing I wanted to say was that I, when after Stitch Away, mm -hmm. I have not told you this yet, so that don't back so. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. Um, so after Stitch Away in January, the Whipco poll for that month was a Blackbird Designs. I think it was What Love, What Remains is Love. Um, and I am stitching that on 40 count straw from Week Skyworks. And I remember just like really struggling to see the holes on it. Um, and I got really, really discouraged because I was like, I have all of this 40 count fabric. I really love the look of 40 count. Um, 
and I ended up not really working on it and working on something totally different on 36 count and I had a good time doing it but I still have had this like thought about 40 count in the back of my brain um, and come to find out I'm pretty sure that the reason I was struggling was because I had COVID. Oh, so you're... Yeah, because this has not been hard at all. Okay, okay. So this, and like the next project that I'm working on for the second half of yeah. April is yeah. on 40 count. Oh, so you were... And so I was just like, oh, no, am no. I in one of these situations? Like yeah. I was in with like 32 count and where I was like, oh, I'm going to stitch out everything on 40 count now. Uh -huh. And then restarted a bunch of shias. And now I'm like, well, I'm really not... I mean, I promise I won't be one of those people that will be against magnification, but I just don't feel like I want a magnifier before I'm 40. There you go. So, um, but I, so I think that because I was so sick and my head felt like it was explo yeah, exploding. Sure. Yeah. That, um, that, that's that really. was why I was, because when I moved to the project on 36 count, I'm going to say, I don't remember you having difficulty with the January project or on 40 count in general. I've never have. And so, so when I pulled expensive. that out yeah. yeah, in January and I knew, I mean, I, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. and I do think that even though there's such a small difference between 36 count and 40 count, mm -hmm. it does take some adjustment from your eyes. Oh yeah. From going from 36 to 40 yeah, because for sure. the project that I was working on before Mr. Foxman mm -hmm. was 36. Yeah. And so, anyway, oh, yeah. I'll get off my soapbox now, but anyway, okay. so, uh, so that's what I've been working on this week. And next week I'll actually have two whips. Wow. Because I'll show that one again and then next week's project. So. Correct. Yeah. All right, Pam, that's what I've been doing in my life. What about you? You've just been sitting around eating chocolate bonbons? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. That's what you've um, been doing. This is, uh, <clears throat> the first one I'm going to share is uh, my Stitch Ahead monthly marker yep. that I've been um, enjoying so much. These are so, so cute. And cute. what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Pine Mountain monthly snapshots. And this picture is so terrible. It is. <laughs> and it's inaccurate according to the chart. Because, oh, really? Um, what I noticed. Did uh, you find these at Keep Stakes? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Um what I noticed right off the bat this morning when I was working on it is um, on the handlebars of the bicycle, um, I don't know if you can see, but in that picture, they're all the same color gray. Yeah. Like, like as if the handlebars didn't have grips on them. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, but that's and, not true. <gasps> Little weasels. All right, well, let's show the people. Yes, show the people. So I'm working on May, like I said, ahead of time. And so this is the first sort of Polaroid of the snapshot. It's and so dang it cute. It is the front of a bicycle with a basket of flowers on it. Look at those flowers. Yeah. Pam, those are so cute. Yeah, super fun. And you know what I think is kind of interesting is that there's no spokes on the wheel. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, there's none at all. Yeah. Not even, like, gray backstitch at all. No. How funny is that? That is kind of funny. You're very observant. I didn't even think about that. I was like, it's just an open wheel. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that's probably because they're going so fast. You right. Know when they're going yeah, so fast? You, you can't see. You can't see that. The, the, look at those flowers. They're just flying in the wind. Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay. That must uh, be the explanation. And, um... So, I've, I'm glad to get a start on that. And will you tell the people what fabric this is? Because it's really pretty. It is 32 count sugar cookie yeah. from color and cotton which was a club color yeah fabric so of the month, yeah. Uh, fabric of the month um and club. did you position this so you can get more than one on this piece of fabric yes. okay good yeah so this is so cute um, i really i love really the struggled auditioning fabrics for this um based this on basket. the gray that um is in the corners yeah, yeah, yeah. this gray and yeah you know, those. the photo corners yeah um i needed them to show up oh well, yeah and the white and the white. So I bumped it up to be 5,200. Okay. Um, From what and, it was. Was it um, what, what? Just blanc. Oh. Yeah. Got it. Cool. So that is Do you have thing. a bag for this or no? No. Because okay. I was working on it today. Okay. And um, I am uh, a little farther along Ooh. on my 
Sal that I have been hosting for almost a year now. Oh, baby. And it is the Praiseworthy Stitches Simple Gifts Courage for Pam Survival Sal. Yep. And um, that Sal more or less started um, at, Stitch at StitchCon last year. Yep. And um, I would like to have it done by StitchCon this year. Yes, ma'am. I feel confident you will be able to do and, that. And uh, so I worked a little bit more on it yep. and got a few more motifs. I am down to the bottom border. Woo! So Steph can hold it up better. <laughs> and so I'm down in this corner. And there's yep. the lovely um, needle minder from Pam and Bob. Yep. But I got this pink bird done and I got this motif done. And I love that pink bird. Part of this motif here. Oh, yeah. It's moving fairly quickly now. So yeah. um, I still am going to focus on this. Sure. In spite of other things that are on the docket. Absolutely. I on might the docket. A, a do, on the docket. On the docket. And so. Of the pee. <laughs> and so um, maybe but, I'll have it finished by next Sunday. Who knows? And this is the called for threads. And then what is the fabric, Pam? Anya from, or Anya from Under the Sea Fabrics. Yes, it's a very pale, pale pink. Yes, it's gorgeous. 32 count Lugana. Yes. And um, shameless plug, if you would like to purchase the chart, and yeah. this is obviously an ongoing sale. Mm -hmm. It's not like Definitely. cancer's going anywhere, no, unfortunately. The sale does not end when I finish. No. Absolutely not. So no. you are always welcome to join in, and um, there are copies of the chart available through the Keepsakes online shop if you yes. are interested. Lots of people joined in, which was great. Yes, fantastic. Okay. All right, is uh, that everything? That is it for me. Okay, so those are our whips of the week. Yay. Okay. It is time for a bell. It is. We got a couple bells for Pam over here. We do. So um, my first whip go for April mm -hmm. was... Um, a Fragments in Time series from Beth at Summerhouse Stitchworks. Yep. Beth was our featured designer at Stitch Away in January, and mm -hmm. I got to visit with her for, I think, the second time. I think I had met her years ago. She's just a dear. She is lovely. And, um, yeah, she was actually a guest at the very first retreat I went to, which was the Tierra retreat. Out correct. In Indiana. That's the other time. And um, so, she, like I said, she's just fabulous. Mm -hmm. She does... Um, Fragments in Time, she's been doing it now for 10 years. So if you get the 2024 Fragments in Time, with the houses, it's, with the houses, it's the 10th anniversary of the series. This was from 2021, and it was Good. Tales from the Sea. So, of course, I Obviously, was attracted to, to that it. theme. Yep. And, and there's always, what, eight parts? Yeah. I think so, yes. Yep. And um, unlike what Stephanie said about pulling out Whipco pieces... That, had that the same were amount of barely, progress. barely started. Yeah, I tended to pick whips for my whip go board that I could foresee finishing. Absolutely. Possibly, Absolutely. not every one. Makes sense. So I had the last two blocks of this to do oh, I this, love this month. So much. And Beth provides a border mm -hmm. on her website, yeah. website, and I mm. was able to finish it. Early because I just divide the month in half, you know, right? Much like what I did. Two this weeks month. and two weeks, roughly. So, um, I am yeah, so here. thrilled, so thrilled. So, this is the project in its entirety stitched all together. Now, you could do any one of these individually, make a bowl display, mm -hmm. um, do whatever you want to do. There's no real, um, uh, Right way to do right it. Right way to do it is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So which one is your favorite block? Oh, pan? I have to go with the lighthouse. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The lighthouse and the widow's walk. I was just gonna say the widow's walk is my favorite one. Yeah, the lighthouse and the widow's walk. Um, I've never been a mermaid person, so. Um, but you couldn't leave it out. But you know, I mean, it's all. I just want to show the detail in those last two blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, the Lighthouse one was full coverage, mm -hmm. which was super fun. And um, and uh, do you want to mention the chart error on this? Um, well, um, if you look at the <coughs> picture, 
Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Exactly, sorry. It's exactly right. Okay. Right. But um, the written instructions, the written uh, key, and possibly Beth has corrected these in a later printing. Yeah. But um, she does have the wrong color for the um, shells. Straight. Yeah, the straight stitches the on the straight outside. stitches on the shells. See. Um, how? She has a sanguine, and it's red rocks. It's clearly red rocks. But I bought mine a long time ago. Yeah, so like when they first came out. Chances so. are, in a subsequent printing, it's been corrected. Yes, but I think this is fantastic. It's yeah. one. Of, it's the colors are just so yeah. fantastic, and you know, like I appreciated this and loved this piece before, like yeah. when you first started this. Yeah. But hearing her talk at Stitch Away about how she is colorblind. Mm -hmm. Makes me appreciate this a thousand times more. Absolutely. Because I have not seen a color combination like this anywhere before. Right. And it just blows my literal brain. It's weird. It's wild. Yeah. That someone who is colorblind mm -hmm. can come up with this. Yeah. Because that is the most impressive thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, not to say that her other patterns aren't equally gorgeous. They are. Mm -hmm. But. This color come with the curry and the dark teal and the red rocks and, it works. and the navy blue It's and the baby blue. Oh, it's just so good. I love it so much. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm very excited to see what Pam chooses for a frame when that time comes. Yeah. I said that it, won't be right away, but well, it'll yeah, be soon. Yeah. But, um, yeah, don't do like yellow. Oh God, no. <laughs> I knew that's what you were going to say. No, probably something weathered, something. Yeah, yeah something yeah. like you'd like, see a, in New like a weathered red. I don't know or blue. I don't know. Whatever. But we'll decide. I know. So, one ringy dingy for that. One, one ringy dingy, baby. And then I decided because it's so small. This I'm doing twenty four starts in twenty twenty four. That's the hashtag. Mm -hmm. And um, so those were ones that. My 24 that I've picked, and I have another one tomorrow. Oh, baby. Um, this one is by far the teeny tiniest. It's tomorrow. I'll tell you oh. later. Um, I tried, guys. Carriage House Samplings Early Main Pin Cushion. And, again, this is one that not a whole lot of people are going to be attracted to. But, obviously, having grown up in the state of Maine. Yeah. The great state of Maine. I was attracted to it. It's been in my stash for years. Yeah. So, um... It's like, uh, there's a chart from, uh, New York Press. It's like a Bangor girl sampler. There is? Yep, it's one of my whips. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have a bigger connection to the Bangor area than you oh, do. Oh, this is true. This is true. So, Thanks anyway, so um... This is the first finish of one of my 24 starts in 24. Oh, that's very cool. So, um, I can't remember what I'm stitching this on. Do you remember? It's Wren. It is Wren from PTP. And because she kitted boss. it up. And um, we did darken um, one of the colors of the first half of the alphabet, pretty much. The first yep. two lines of letters, we did darken so they would show up. Mm -hmm. But uh, you, that's really not the best picture on the pattern. Okay, and this no. is what it ends up looking like. Sorry for the crease. Um, so I happen to be reading right now or listening cause I do audiobooks while I stitch, um, a fictionalized, uh, historical novel about Martha Ballard and, um, Martha Ballard was what was known as a midwife slash healer. She was a real life person and the book that many of you have sent my way and I've been waiting for time to listen to it is called the frozen river. Hmm. And, um, I am not too far into the book, but I was very yeah. familiar with Martha's work because a I love Martha's work. book was, uh, written by a woman named, oh shoot, last name Ulrich. And what's the name of the book you're reading? The the book I'm listening to now yeah. is called Frozen River. Frozen River, okay. But <clears throat> thank you for letting me clarify. No problem. 
But the reason <clears throat> that I knew about Martha Ballard was because of the compilation of diary entries that was put together by... Is that, um, is that it? That's the book I'm listening to okay. now. Okay, okay. It will take me a whole hour to go through this. Yeah. So fast forward <laughs> if you don't really care. Anyway, there was a book by a woman whose last name is Thatcher. She was a graduate student at, uh, at my alma mater, which was Simmons College. It's now Simmons University. And she compiled the diary of a midwife. And it was Martha's actual diary entries that she made as she um, worked in the woods of rural Maine in the uh, late 18th century, very late 18th century. So um, I had that book and listening to the book and thinking about the diaries and thinking about what it must have been like to live in Maine. Yeah. When I stitch that piece. Cool. I think I'm done now. Cool, cool. So. Beautiful. Happy, happy finishes, finishes, everyone. I almost said happy stitches, everyone. And that would have been very incorrect. <laughs> um, anyway. Okay, okay. Yay. All right. Let me get my next sound effect. So many sounds. So many sounds. Promotions. Welcome to the Triple P, the promotional portion of the program. All right. So. We have two things for you today. The first promotional item is the next installment of from Annie B's Folk Art through Crazy Annie Stitching of the Signs of Christmas series. Right. So, um, I think this is number four. It's either three or four. No, nah, number four. Yes, that's right. Okay. And... Hi. Hello. So the number four, the name of it is Reindeer Sleigh Rides. This one's super cute. Very cute. I super love it. Cute. It says Reindeer Sleigh Rides down Santa Claus Lane, hot cocoa, air rides, and then complimentary warm blankets. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. So freaking adorable. Mm -hmm. And I love all the like little text everywhere. It's so cute. Um, so this is number four in the series and, um, we were sent two from Crazy Annie Stitchin, who has the, uh, who is exclusively releasing these charts from Annie B's. Right. So one of these is for one of you. Yeah. So, um, we're going to do our giveaway at this port point. Um, and people who fast forward through the promotional portion are going to be mad. Okay. I'm just saying. Um, so, um, if you would like to be entered to win the, he's in the kitchen. Okay. Um, if you'd like to be entered to win, uh, the copy of Reindeer Sleigh Rides from Crazy Annie's and Annie B's, then leave a comment below on this video and you must use the keyword in a sentence, in a sentence. Ride. Ride. Okay. Oh boy. R I D E. There you go. Is the word. Um, and just as a little aside, you must be 18 years of age or older to enter so we can legally get your address. You can live anywhere in the world. Um, we will pick a winner next week. So you have one full week to enter for this giveaway. Yep. And uh, you also must be a subscriber to this channel. And yes, we will check. So, um, so just use the word ride in a sentence to be entered to it. So, uh, a huge thank you to both Annie B's and Crazy Annie's and Crazy Annie's wanted us to mention to all of you that, um, the, there are, you can still sign up for the auto ship program of 
Christmas or signs of Christmas series right. from Annie. Right. So if you've seen a show now four different charts and you are like, I like them all. I want to be signed up for it, um, which is what we suggest you do. Yeah. Um, then you can absolutely still do that. There are links in our description box that you can follow to do that. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you're on Facebook, you can join the Crazy Annie's Facebook group where she is selling the individual charts just standalone. So you don't have to enroll for the entire series, but um, because these charts are exclusive to Crazy Annie Stitching, she's the only place you can get them. So um, if you are like, well, I actually love number four, but the other ones aren't for me, that's totally fine. You can go on her Facebook group and you can purchase on there. There you go. So all that stuff is linked below, all the information that you need, and don't forget to enter for the giveaway. That's right. Yay. So, and then, of course, we've got our Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week, which is where we talk to the twins, the twins talk to us, we figure out a pattern that we love, that we think that you will love too, and then we dis they discount it for 20% off for one full week. So, uh, what is this week's featured pattern of the week, Pam? Uh, this week's featured uh, Twin Peak Primitives design is called Cherry Garden. And it's a lovely scene that um, obviously features cherry blossoms. I was thinking that springtime. that sounded springy, you know, cherry mm -hmm. blossom time in our nation's capital, et yep. cetera, et cetera. Beautiful. And so we're going to insert a picture of Cherry Garden here. Yeah. Yay. So, if you love Cherry Garden as much as we love Cherry Garden, and you would like to get your hands on a discounted copy of Cherry Garden, then you can get a PDF version from either the Twin Peak Primitives website or Etsy shop, both of which are linked below. Uh, if you are more of a hard copy kind of stitcher, um, there is one place and one place only that you can go to get the discounted hard copy of Cherry Garden, and that is the TPP Limited Editions Etsy shop, yep. which is, of course, linked below. Right. So I have now changed the way that I do the description box, and instead of having a link to just the homepage of the Twin Peak Primitives website, Etsy shop, and TPP Limited Editions, it is a link directly to the item. Right. So you are obviously more than welcome to peruse Shop any, around. yeah, absolutely. Do all the things, add to cart, baby. But um, that way, it goes right to it if that's what you're looking for. Um, there's no discount code. There's no coupon code. No special anything you got to do. Uh, just add it to your cart and check out. That's right. Love that. All right. Okay. That means it's time for mail call. call. All right. So here's this for you. Uh huh. And. I know you talk about it because it's okay. more or less your thing. Yeah. I think that, was it last week or the week before? I think it was two weeks ago. I think it was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Um, I talked about someone contacting me about an older Prairie Schooler chart mm -hmm. called More Friends. I don't remember. There was Friends and More Friends. I don't remember yeah. the numbers. And on each of those leaflets, there were multiple designs. And on the More Friends leaflet, there was actually a uh, design that featured the um, verse from uh, Make New Friends that we use as the basis for our floss tube shout outs. Mm -hmm. And that the person that directed me there, I, we had the chart in our stash said, I think you need to stitch it. And I thought, yeah, I guess I do. Mm -hmm. Well, here comes a message from our friend Chris. And mm -hmm. she said, stop the presses. Right. I'm stitching it for you right now. How do you like that? So, so cool. here comes this huge box. Yes. And inside. So amazing is a lovely, lovely letter. Lovely Thank letter. you very much, Chris. Yes, absolutely. And she wanted to describe that uh, she has been stitching a very long time. Yes. She's what I would call an experienced stitcher. Absolutely. And um, she fully finished this 
using um, the tutorial from Vana, mm -hmm. from Vana Pfeiffer. Yep. And we always love to give Vana all the credit. Yes, ma'am. All the, all the praise. Iconic. And it came out so sweet. And it's amazing. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to hold it. Yeah, and as you show it, I'll give the details. Okay, so this. Look at this, you guys. It's amazing. She made it into a flat fold with, look at that sampler fabric well, I think, I think on it's the back. More, more like a stand-up because it doesn't fold. No, yeah. it's not a flat fold, but yeah. it's a flat finish. Yeah, yeah. Then, then she little, put these so little cute. feet on and it's just exquisite. It is. It's just exquisite. Mm -hmm. So we were thrilled when we opened it up. Yes. And yes. All right, let me give some details about it. Okay. So, obviously, the design is called More Friends, book number 85 okay. from the Prairie Schooler. Right. She said shit on 32-count linen chamomile uh, in the color chamomile by Color and Cotton, which was uh, Fabric of the Month Club. Uh, then the floss is DMC as charted, two over two, obviously. Okay, and then the finishing information. The backing fabric is a Blackbird Designs fabric. I thought so. Love that. Then the place card, so that's what these little feet are, are place card holders for like a oh, table right. or whatever. You put the card in this, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, she got those from Hobby Lobby. And then, like Pam mentioned, uh, Chris said that she FFO'd the piece following tutorials for the cording, which is along the sides. Mm -hmm. You can see it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for the cording and stand-up ornament. So, like, she, used, she basically just, like, transposed the ornament finishing tutorial from Vana for this. Nice. Uh, and then Chris actually goes on to say that she has video tutorials, Vana does, yeah. on YouTube to make the cording and the stand-up ornament tutorial can be found on her blog mm -hmm. posted January 13th, 2018. Great. So I love that so much. Great. And I also thought it was super interesting. I mean, we are not finishers, obviously. Okay, no. no. We, we don't even pretend. No, that is money well spent to someone else. Mm -hmm. um, and But she did note in the letter that she wrote that she didn't use any glue in the finishing. She used stitchery tape between the batting and mat board and then laced the linen to the board and stitched the entire piece together. Which basically leads her to say that if we ever wanted to finish this some other way, which we're never taking this apart ever, but if we wanted to, then it could be totally disassembled without mm -hmm. any harm to the stitching or the lin, mm -hmm. which I thought was really fascinating. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, so, mm -hmm. um, play the tape to the end. Yeah, so absolutely. When you're finishing. Right. For sure. So, um, we love you, Chris. So, so, so much. Yeah. Um, and I just want to because we're going to tag Vana in the mm -hmm. description box. Right. So, Vana, if you're listening, I just want you to know what Chris said at the end of her letter for you. Yeah. So, uh, I'm sorry if anyone feels like I'm talking directly to Vana, but I am. So, it says, if you choose to share the piece, which why would we not share this? Come on, Chris. Uh, it says, could you mention Vana and her tutorials? Obviously. She has made a world of difference in my finishing, and I've used many of her techniques over the years. As you know, she has given so much to the stitching community, and all of her tutorials are offered freely. She only asks to be credited, so I always try to do so. Yeah, so as we do, too. Absolutely. So, huge shout out to Vana. Right. And, um, and also one last little detail. The initials. I think, I haven't got the chart right here, but I think these letters on the design were directional. Yeah, like cardinal north, points. Yeah, north, right? south, east, west, yeah. And look what Chris did. She's got a P, a little P up there, P, S, and then S, S and S. S. So P, S, and S, S. It's so cute. And it's just adorable. Chris. Like, we are so touched. It's so yeah. cute. It's like a whole. It's classic like prairie schooler. It's just. It's just precious. I love it so it's much. It's just precious. So, thank you so much. You, so. Yes. Thank you very, very much. Absolutely. It will be displayed prominently. Yes. In our it will home. go on the mantle. Yes, it will. Yeah. That's yes. where we put all of, all of our favorite things. <laughs> Absolutely. So. Absolutely. I wanted to add a little bit more. I, oh, yeah, yeah. I got to thinking uh -oh. about the origin of the song and, you know, Tune in to us and you're going to get more than just cross-stitch. Absolutely. Clearly. Duh. But um, the song was um, originally a poem mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Written by a man named Joseph Perry, P A R R Y, Thank you, Joseph. who was born in 1841 and died in 1903. Wow. Dang. And um, there are one, two, three, four, roughly four mm-hmm. stanzas. And um, the person who um, printed this out, and I can't credit them, but this person said they have they are not aware of when the Girl Scouts more or less adopted it uh-huh. um, and began using the words uh, regularly at Girl Scout meetings. And they made a couple of alterations. And to they the did words. change some yeah. of the words. But originally it was a poem, so mm-hmm. I thought that was very interesting. Absolutely. And um, uh, it mm. just got me thinking about, I wonder, I, I wonder if... Some Girl Scout wrote it or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But it came and, before them. Um, but it was uh, a long time ago. So Fascinating. Fascinating. All, all right. right. And that is all, I believe, let me take that box out of the way for yeah. you. And I believe that is all of the mail call. And Chris, the this is standing perfectly. Perfectly. Literally I know perfect. you were concerned perfect. and wanted to make sure that we put it someplace where it wouldn't get jostled. But it is standing perfectly right in front of us. Yeah. So So. there you go. Love it. All right. So that makes it time for haul. Yes. All righty. So I got, uh, I placed an order with Primrose Cottage because uh, some of the finishing items and stuff that for charts that I have in my possession um, were uploaded to their Etsy shop. So um, I wanted to make sure that I grabbed those while they were still in stock. So I got the Patriotic Quaker uh, finishing kit with all of the called for color and cotton threads as well. I love that they do these kits. Um, It's just so, so, so easy. So Mm -hmm. um, I got that. And then um, I purchased this book at Market. This is the 12 monthly minis book. Um, I love all of them so much. So you got that at market? Why are you showing it now? Because oh, I purchased from Primrose Cottage the 12 monthly minis oh, finishing kit. Wow. So you get all of the checkered fabrics to go with all 12 of the pillows. Fantastic. And um, they also are selling um, a floss pack. It's all DMC, but if that interest you they have one of those and then they also have um i don't know if you can tell from this photo but all 12 of them have a decorative just another button company pin okay and they are selling the 12 pins as well so you you can get the pins i did not no okay um so because i'll just i can get those um from keepsakes so um but i love that I got this, and oh, yeah. that's so amazing and convenient, and I can just stitch them and give it to the finisher, just like that. Yeah, that's the way we do it. Thank yeah. you so much. Here, here you go. That's what we. Thank do. you. Yep. So really excited about that. So um, I don't know uh, what they still have in stock, but I will of course link the Primrose Etsy shop, Primrose Cottage Etsy shop below. Right. Uh, and then Pam and I got uh, our fabric of the month club from Color and Cotton. Yep. Uh, this month the color is buttermilk, mm-hmm. and I get forty count, and I get thirty two. There you go. And starting next month, yeah, May is the next month. Um, I will be getting thirty six counts. So um, I'm super excited about that. Mm-hmm. So just to build up our thirty six count staff. Absolutely. Right. So. And then, my girl Jess, you know how I feel about Jess, okay? Uh, So, I uh, get a project bag uh, once a month from her, just about, uh, and it is a patchwork bag. And so, it's to the point now, because we've done this so long, that she, like, has had me take pictures of all the ones that she sent to me because she forgets the fabric that she's used because that's how long we've been doing it. I love it so much. So she sent me the stack, I don't know what they call that, a jelly roll or whatever of the different fabrics that she wanted to use in this month's bag. And she was like, just tell me if you, if you have a bag with this fabric or not yet. That's funny. And I said, absolutely not, but I love this fabric. I can't wait. Yeah. So this is um, just this thing that Jess and I have set up and this is... I think some other people are jumping on the bandwagon with that. 
Okay. Because I seem to recall that she posted something about getting a little bit more of a standardized order form. Oh, cool. For people who want to get a custom bag once a month. Cool. I love that. I think. Uh, and I do know that when she makes my bag, that she does obviously have extras from when she's cut up all the squares mm -hmm. to make the patchwork mm -hmm. bag. So then she'll make the extra patchwork bags and put them up on her Etsy on her Friday night sale. So yeah. you can always find those extras, um, the limited number that she has on mm -hmm. her Friday night Etsy sale. Mm -hmm. So this is my April uh, patchwork bag from Jess at Como Stitches. <laughs> lovely <laughs> i love the orange zipper so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. <laughs> um and i just think these colors are just so sweet and like so bright i love the little strawberry situation um i just love it it's like such a good color combination mm -hmm. and then i love the fabric up top that is also on the back and you can see the strawberries on there too so cute and then it's on the inside as well. Ooh. Yep. So, um, I highly recommend following Jess at Como Stitches on Instagram so you can um, keep up to speed with what she is making for project bags and other items. She does a whole slew of things. She's so super talented. And so, if you are sleeping on Como Stitches, wake up. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. So a lot of people, a lot of floss tubers are talking about her bags. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. All right. So that right. is all my haul. What do you have? Um, I belong to the circle of friends from the silver needle, a little help from our friends stitching circle. Yeah. And so, um, we got a full kit, uh, from pansy patch quilts and stitchery. And that is Lori. And this one is called friendship blooms. Yes. It's adorable. And what does it say on it? It says friendship blooms between salt box neighbors. Cute. Which is the O-U-R spelling of neighbors. Cute. So it's Pretty adorable. Colors. Comes with everything. Yep. It's calling my name. It's cute. It's calling my name. Very cute. So. It's a great club. Yes. Great club. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, because that was one of your exceptions for your no buy 2024. Right, my was existing clubs. Chart diet. Yes. Which our friend Tony says diet does not mean fast, and I love that. Oh, that is cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. So awesome. You know, there might be some other things <laughs> down the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You never know. Never know. It's a diet, not a fast. Good to know. All right. That it for haul? That's it. Okay. Add to cart. All right. Okay. Um, we have a couple of lovely uh, donations to acknowledge. Yes. And they are folks that use the link in the description box mm -hmm. to send us a little help toward our framing, finishing, and postage expenses. And yeah. we sincerely thank each of these gals. Absolutely. Jana, thank you very much. And Anita, thank you so much, girls. Yes, and um, if you are motivated to do that, we sincerely appreciate it. But it um, is certainly not anything that is required or expected, expected or demanded, anything like that. Mm -hmm. Just a little soft. Just a little soft. Uh, plants, of course, uh, like Steph mentioned, we're halfway through April. We are. Which means which that is insane. for each of us in different ways, we'll be switching our whip goes. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I finished my um, Tales from the Sea. Yeah. And that means that tomorrow I um, go to my second whip go call for mm -hmm. April which is a pretty big piece with a very, very, very small start. Oh, boy. So um, okay, we'll see Mine how I do. Mine, Mine is going to be Nantucket uh, Girl Sampler from... Oh, that uh, Plum Street? Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Is it Plum Street or is it... No, it's Plum Street. It is? Nantucket Girl Sampler, yeah. Okay. The big one that used to hang up over yeah. the fireplace? Yeah, that's Plum okay. Um, I don't know why that didn't sound right. But anyway... Uh, very, very, like, one strand. Holy cow. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So, I want to... That'll be fun. ...see that come to come to some shape. Yeah. Um, before get the end of the month. Get some words in, get a motif in. And, like I mentioned, um, also, 
I have another start in my series, 24 Starts in 2024, because tomorrow, in most, um, if not all, of the New England states, mm. particularly Massachusetts and Maine, yep. it is Patriots Day. Yeah. And um, I read a very interesting little tidbit. Oh, okay. Um, you going to share with the class? I am going to share okay. with the class. Um, someone in the, in the great, you know, uh, wide world, <laughs> world wide web asked about the apostrophe. Is it one Patriot apostrophe uh, S or is it multiple Patriots with either no apostrophe yeah. or S apostrophe? That's a very good question. What so you know answer? what the answer is? Who can I guess? Is it Patriots apostrophe day? Only in the great state of Maine yeah. is there one Patriot. Patriot apostrophe, apostrophe S. S. Fascinating. And everywhere else that acknowledges Patriots Day, mm -hmm. it is multiple Patriots with, with either apostrophe. no apostrophe right. at all or S apostrophe. Fascinating. Um, absolutely. I thought that was interesting. I wonder who he was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Well, my patriot, my DAR patriot, obviously, well, yeah. was one patriot. But anyway. Um, but just one guy representing the whole state of Maine. Yeah. And if you don't know, Patriot's Day it? commemorates the shot. Who the, chose him? <laughs> are you quite done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm talking. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Yep. Um, anyway, uh, Patriot's Day commemorates uh, what is uh, commonly referred to as the shot heard around the world, mm -hmm. which is the uh, Battle of Lexington and Concord mm -hmm. in uh, Massachusetts. Yep. And the uh, soon after uh, events that happened that led to uh, a revolutionary war. So yep. um, and I grew up on Patriot's Day um, and frequently it is a day where there is both a Red Sox baseball game mm -hmm. and the Boston Marathon. Mm -hmm. And the Boston Marathon has been held on Patriots Day for a, a lot while. longer than I thought. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and so um, there's that. Yeah. But um, so I have a patriotic piece that I will be starting. Oh, it's exciting. Tomorrow. And I think it's a little house. I think. I think you are so, correct. So think about all those little house Patriot pieces. Which one is Pam going to start tomorrow? Yeah. So the Red Sox game is at eleven, just past mm -hmm. eleven tomorrow morning. Right. And they were saying on the on Nesson, the New England Sports Network, <coughs> today that from where they sit in the press box, mm -hmm. they can see the runners. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's cool. Um, yeah. And then. Um, the Red Sox have been wearing their yellow and blue uniforms in which honor are, of that. So, yeah, which are marathon uh, colors. Yeah, yeah. I remember when I was going to Simmons from 73 to 77, um, we went down to uh, the finish line. Mm. And um, there was a street stanchion that extended over the street. Um, unfortunately, it's probably um, not there anymore. And, of course, that's where the terrible bombing occurred. Mm -hmm. But um, there were a bunch of guys, uh, college-age boys, who were straddling that huge stanchion that came up out of the sidewalk and, and ran across the, mm -hmm. the street um, right by, um, well, heading toward Boston Public and... Mm -hmm. um, so forth toward the finish line. So, yeah. um, I think I actually have a picture from from my photo album. You should find it. Um, but oh. anyway, I don't know whether they were boys we knew or whether they <laughs> who were cares? just who cares when you're in college. Yeah, right. Boys, right. You know? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so uh, that's what's happening. Yeah. Um, and so go uh, and check stitch and be happy. <laughs> Go forth and stitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, we hope you have a good week. We'll yeah. be back in another week. Yep, sure will. And um, things are happening. Where Things are happening. That is true. Heading toward the end of the month. Oof. And um, gosh, it's been hot here, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, so today. we've had... We've had heat, um, air conditioning. So we started we'd sweat it all out. No, no, no. Out. We've had AC on today. Yeah. Can you believe it? It's not even out of April. All right. So um, have a good week, everybody. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, enjoy the stitching, yeah. and we'll see you next week. Yes, you will. In the meantime, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.